Lesson 10.10, .10, in front of and behind. We use the terms in front of and behind to tell the location of boxes, balls, cones, and cans. And these are positional words for before and after that teach location and spatial relationships. This boy is in front of the books. This boy is now behind the books. This says in front of, this says behind. These children are in line at a drinking fountain. Rob is in front of Liz. He drinks before Liz does. Liz is behind Rob. She drinks after Rob does. The words in front of tells us the object comes before another object in a line. It tells us there is someone in back of us. The word behind tells us the object comes after another object in a line. It tells us there is someone ahead of us that will go first. Rob is in front of Liz. He will take a drink first. Here is a train carrying solid shapes. We see a cylinder, a sphere, a cone, another cone, another sphere, and a cube. We need to put an X above the sphere that is behind the cylinder. I see a sphere here and a sphere here. Which of these is behind a cylinder? If you said the red one, you're right. We need to put an X above it. It is after the cylinder. It is behind the cylinder. Now we need to put an X below the sphere that is in front of a cube. Do you see the sphere that is in front of the cube? If you said this one, you're correct. It's first before this cube. It's in front of it. It will go before it. We need to put an X below it. We have a sphere that's behind a cylinder, and we have a sphere that is in front of a cube. Here we have cubes and cylinders. We need to put an X on the cube that is in front of a cylinder. Do you see a cube that is in front of a cylinder? If you said this one, you're right. This cube is in front of the cylinder. We can see all of the cube, but we can't see all of the cylinder. We need to put an X on the cube that is in front of a cylinder. We're going to put an X on that cube. Here are objects shaped like three-dimensional solid shapes. I see cylinders, the paint can, and the spool of thread. I see spheres, the bowling ball, and the soccer ball. And I see cubes, the Rubik's Cube, the gift box, and the crate. We need to put an X on the object shaped like a cube that is in front of a sphere. Do you see a cube that is in front of a sphere? A cube that is in front of a sphere. If you said the gift box, which is shaped like a cube, which is in front of the soccer ball that is shaped like a sphere, you're right. We need to put an X on the cube. I'm going to put an X on the gift box. Now we need to circle the object shaped like a cube that is behind an object shaped like a sphere. Do you see a cube that is behind a sphere? If you said this Rubik's Cube is behind this sphere-shaped tennis ball, you're right. We need to circle the cube that is behind a sphere. 
our next lesson is going to be in chapter 11, all about measurement. We're going to compare lengths of objects. I hope you have a really nice day, and please hit the like button and join me for our next lesson. Bye.